What's going on, Scorpio? Welcome to your reading. Vince here for 7D Tarot. Today, I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead, like this video, and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Very interesting. So right now, you got the death card, but you also have the ten of wands, letting you know that your angels want you to close a chapter on something that's not sustainable because it's not paying dividends, it's taxing and aging you because it's putting you in fight or flight, right? So basically, you're releasing cortisol and adrenaline in your body when you think of this energy. Now, this could be a person. This could be like something about to happen. Like, for example, imagine your taxes are coming up. You put it aside, and right now you're telling yourself, oh, every time you think of it, you get stressed and worried, right? You're in fight or flight. This chemical cocktail, this is, you know, something that pushes the genetic buttons of disease because it's a very potent cocktail that, you know, usually we feel if we, this was back in the day in the caveman days, like when we saw a saber tooth tiger, oh my goodness, you know, your, your, your senses get aroused, you get focused. The last thing you think you're thinking of is love and, and the creation and, and life's purpose. You're thinking of survival. This energy right here, this is not something that's sustainable, right? So if this could also be like something like asking your boss for promotion, but you're too anxious to do it, even though being anxious is excited, right? So source is telling you right now, this energy has to get cleared. When this energy is cleared, a brand new, fresh opportunity is going to be presented to you. And this is nothing more than a lesson, a test to see, you know, where are you at? Are you able to handle this? Because being in alignment first, action second, which is the formula for success, is the recipe to pass this test, right? So when you're in alignment first, everything is effortless. Like asking your boss for promotion is easy, asking someone on a date, making the right choices, but it all comes down to being in alignment first. I cannot stress this enough, right? So for example, if I have any major decision to make in my life, I'm making sure I am in alignment first. I'm not gonna make any decisions based out of fear, or any decisions that are undecisive or wobbly, because why? You are a magnet attracting what you emit. I'll just go attract more undecisiveness. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, you know, very pre uh, precise, calculated decisions that are, are the correct ones with zero mistakes. I don't have time to clean up messes for making the wrong mistake, right? So for example, like when you drive, you listen, you look at your GPS or map. You're not just driving around and being like, oh, if I'll make up the difference, you know, if I take a lot wrong turn, who cares? No, you're like, I got to make sure I get to my destination, you know, point A to point B, you know, the best way possible, right? The most productive way. I don't want to waste time, energy, or gas, right? Same thing here. You don't want to waste your, your time, time and space. So source is telling you that energy does have to get cleared. Now, I see here with the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords, what's happening is your angels are telling you that there's a lot of overrushing going on in your life. You're focusing too much on trying to get things done, either multitasking. And right now you got to remember, like your reality is a reflection of your dominant vibration. So if your dominant vibration is overrushing, if your dominant vibration is, you know, making hasty decisions, snap judgment, not putting things, impressions to the test, you're going to get more of that back. Law of attraction exists whether you participate in it and consciously or unconsciously. Like whether you're aware of it or not, you are a magnet attracting what you emit. So you want to know what's going on basically, right? So source is telling you right now, take your time. Do not rush. Rushing is one of the lowest frequencies you could possibly have, right? You are going to make the wrong decision. If you're rushing to make a decision for work, if you're rushing to make a decision, even when it comes to eat, right? You're like, what should I eat? And you immediately just pick something without listening to your instincts. It's not going to go so well. So your instincts are telling you to take some time for yourself. Now you got the lover's card and you also have the strength card. So right now source is telling you that to find the strength, that inner lion within you, to love yourself because loving yourself is the first step before others will love you as well. And love means happiness, peace, and joy. And this is so important. Why is it you know, so important to love yourself? Because for example, when you meet someone, you're basically saying, hello, stranger, I am Scorpio. We don't know each other. It's in your interest to mingle with me. Your life is going to get better if I'm a part of it. That's really what you're saying. So if you don't know what you bring to the table, you're not like, hey, it's your life's better if I come in there because I am someone who is positive, confident, charming. I'm positive. Someone who is kind, gentle, empathic. If you don't know these things, right? If you don't love yourself, 
then you don't know what you're bringing to the table. And this is very, very important because I used to go through this all the time. Like I, you know, before I knew what the law of attraction was, I didn't love myself. You know, I was very hard on myself, you know, and at the end of the day, it didn't do nothing for me. You know, I was very self-conscious. Um, and as I grew, you know, as I matured and, and got more educated on how life really works, then I started loving myself all the time. I'm like, Vince, you are the best. You are the ish, you know, positive affirmations. You're smart, wise, patient, powerful, sexy, charming, whatever, right? And right now, Source is telling you the same thing because I do see here that there is a very powerful energy waiting for you, someone that matches your frequency, someone that's going to help you develop and you're going to help them develop. And right now, Source is telling you that your thoughts create and your emotions confirm and your emotions are telling you right now that the abundance, you know, abundance flows to the grateful heart, abundance flows to appreciation and excitement and loving yourself is the first step. So be grateful, be excited, be appreciative, have fun. Do the things that matter. Find joy in simple things, right? Strength and simplicity. Don't be rushing. Don't be in a lower frequency. You know, make sure that your, your objectives are aligned with your goals. Your actions are aligned with your goals. If your goals are to be rich, to be with your soulmate, to be, you know, fit, physically fit, then align your goals with that. Wake up early, eat healthy, and, you know, go to the gym. You know, just simple as pie. All right. Now, you got the eight of pentacles, and you got justice. Big financial opportunity coming your way. And the more energy you put into it, the more you will get back out. So Source is telling you right now, let go of the how and focus on the why. And what that really means is right, right now, imagine you always wanted to start a business and you always wanted to work for yourself and be an entrepreneur. But every time you visualize it or you manifest it, what happens is you tell yourself, how is that even going to happen? Like, I never started a business before. I have no experience. How is that even possible? And then poof, the, the, the visualization disappears because it's not realistic, right? So it's just telling you, stop thinking of the how. The how comes later. You know what I mean? It's like when you build a house, you pour the foundation, right? You do the framing later. Don't worry about the framing right now. Worry about the foundation. Or if you, when you bake a pie, worry about the crust right now. Don't worry about the toppings, right? So Source is telling you the most important part right now is the why. Why do you want to be rich? Not just I got to pay off my bills. Great. Why do you want to be rich? To travel, to experience life, to have freedom, Freedom to say, I am not coming to work anymore. I'm not doing this slave labor. I'm not doing this anymore. This is unbelievable. I'm not getting paid. It's far from my house. What the heck am I doing here? When you are rich, you get the freedom to say, uh-uh, I am done here, guys. And that's really some real ish. And right now, Source is telling you this is so important for you to align yourself with what you're looking for and radiate the energy you want to attract, right? This is like crucial. You have to radiate the energy you want to attract. So if you want to attract abundance, you want to attract excitement, you want to attract joy, do those things that bring you those things. Now, for example, if you're like, I want to be rich and that's exciting, great. What else is exciting? Is playing an instrument exciting? Is reading a book exciting? Is going for a walk exciting? Is watching a show on Netflix exciting? Do something else that's exciting and then you will attract the other things that are exciting that are, you know, higher up the scale in your priorities list. So right now, the most important thing is find excitement and joy in anything, align with it, and it will come to you. All right, Scorpio, now let's get some money and some love into your lifetime for your affirmation for today. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section, quantum entangle with this energy. Let spirit know you're ready by making sure you feel these words as you write them down. Feeling is the secret. So your affirmation for today is look at this one my future starts today yes it does not tomorrow not yesterday so basically not the predictable future or the memory of the past but the present moment my future starts today yes it does write this down in the comment section right now let your angels and guys know you're ready for new outcomes my future starts today let the universe know you are ready all right now final message from your spirit guides See me in their eyes is the message. So whenever conferring with another, either face to face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit or sentient tree, always speak to them within the highest form. So what does that really mean? Understand that everyone has a body. Everyone has a soul. You're looking at me right now. This is my body. This is my car, my avatar. Inside this body is my soul. It's a light ray, for example. Imagine a golden ball of light. So everyone, everyone you speak to, when you look at them, that's their body filled with human emotion and limiting beliefs and shadows and filters and childhood traumas. Don't worry about all that. Deep down within them is a soul that does not have an ego. They're from the fifth dimension, the same as yourself. Speak to them, right? So when they say some stuff to you that doesn't even make sense and you're like, wow, what's wrong with this person? 
it's not them. It's just this poor soul that's trapped within the body, right? Speak to their soul. That means be kind and gentle, and you will be handsomely rewarded for it. All right, Scorpio, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, chat soon.